guys, welcome back to Truly Sadia. Um, today we are doing a different kind of a vlog. I wanted to do a vlog based around teenagers and that is why it's called quarantine. Um, being a mother of a teenager, I understand the impact this time has had on, on teenagers. Um, you know, with teenagers, we have to understand that, you know, that this, this, these, these precious teens are when they're the years between childhood and adulthood and and on a given day their life is like a roller coaster their emotions are like a roller coaster they have highs and they have lows and it's interesting to see how they have coped around this we have to understand that teens today are going to shape our future tomorrow and uh, the future of the world they will be responsible for shaping the future of the world and how they think what they think what impacts their thinking and what their mindset is, it's important for us to know what their mindset is. I think their opinion matters. I think that we need them to be a part of the conversation about our future. I thought it would be a good idea to ask different teenagers um, in New York and in London and in Pakistan, the three countries that I consider home, and ask them how they have gone through this process and uh, what is, how are they feeling. Uh, normally, I'm running from place to place over the weekends and the weeks so I'm going to extracurricular activities or I'm hanging out with friends and going to parties. And so it's kind of given me a time to like reach home base and kind of just like spend time by myself and write down what my goals and aspirations are for the future and kind of plan ahead. Obviously, like the situation today is affecting everyone's future plans and college especially for me because everything's so up in the air. I mean, I have to take my SAT. I don't know how things are going to turn out, I just hope they turn out for the better, but it's scary. Uh, I've struggled to learn from home um, because it's obviously a home environment which I'm not used to working in and uh, with all the um, distractions around um, uh, and also seeing friends because I like to be out doing stuff. Um, but obviously I haven't been able to during the pandemic. Of course, um, what quarantine has done, like most that have has stre stressed me out. Just thinking about college admissions and like the entire testing dilemma. Um, recently, a lot of tests had to be halted. So like SATs, ACTs, they've all been pushed back. And there's a lot of uncertainty with what comes next. It was definitely difficult because I had a lot of online work and I wasn't used to not being in class and being able to have a one-on-one -on -one with professors and my classmates so I think it was really hard and it's still pretty hard to adapt to this online atmosphere. I affected a lot of things solely because I was debating at the time and I was I was doing really well especially for only debating for three months. Um, I was going to the state championships for New York. I worked quite hard to get to where I was and then for that just to be stripped away was very frustrating for me because I knew that with my debating ability, I came second in the city championships. So I knew I had the potential to even you know, win the states. Um, I think it's kind of almost made me realize who I really like value and in my life, whether it be like friendships or romantic relationships or family relationships. Um, Cause you really get to take the time to speak to these people. With everything going on in the world today with the COVID-19 crisis, it's really just put things into perspective for me and made me realize that you should never take literally anything for granted because things can change really quickly and really unexpectedly. It's really left me alone with my thoughts to really think about where I want to go with life and if I want to continue at the institution that I'm currently at or if I want to go somewhere else or if I'm sure what I'm majoring in is really what I want. So it's really given me time to really figure out who I want to be. I became a lot more productive as in I learned a lot of skills I didn't know already. Um, I learned how to cook, I learned photography. Because of quarantine, I think like a lot of great things are gonna, for me personally, like a lot of, I have a lot of ideas and things that I wanna go and do and I'm much more motivated to do things for myself and for my like career and my future. I came back home to my 12 year old brother who constantly comes into my room all the time um, with my parents on my back as well. It's just the lack of human connection because usually although I am an introvert I, I do miss that human to human interaction and that's just something that you can't get through video call or like FaceTime or anything like that. 
and I mean this has all affected me on a personal level in the way that I'm really into filmmaking so I had a lot of ideas for stuff that I wanted to go out and shoot and try out which obviously is impossible. I really did feel trapped and I was so not used to not being with anyone at all times and not like hanging out with people at all times that it was it was it was an unnatural feeling. So if you had the choice to be quarantined with one celebrity, who would that be? Jessica Alba. Simply exquisite. Um. Jessica Alba. You know, Jessica Alba is your mom's age. Huh? Then, that's not, that's not a problem. <laughs> She's 39. <laughs> Barack Obama, I feel like he would definitely be able to entertain me for a long time. I'd be able to continue these discussions about politics that I find fascinating. Um, and one celebrity would have to be Logan Paul. Because I've been watching his vlogs and um, he looks like he has fun during the, uh, this lockdown, so yeah. Kanye West, just because I really like his music. And I think it would be really cool to have a lot of conversations with him and also... That's a good question. Definitely John Mulaney. He's a comedian, my favorite comedian. He lives in New York. Maddie Healy from the 1975, which is one of my favorite bands. And I don't know, like I would just have like a million questions for him about his songwriting process and certain lyrics that I love, what they mean, what I thought they meant. <laughs> to be here like I really look up to her I think she's just like the greatest person ever so if I had to be quarantined with anyone I feel like she would just give me the best advice and I would just like become her I haven't seen my girlfriend three months I saw the other day though um we had the social distance it wasn't nice <laughs> I mean like at least I got to see her but it was frustrating uh, <laughs> it kind of put a pause at the relationship I was in so it's like in a weird it's just kind of odd, like you don't really want to, sometimes you just get tired of speaking to the person every day when there's nothing to talk about. It's been good, because I've never really experienced anything along these lines. And so, though it's, been, it's definitely been stressful, it's definitely had its problems, I think overall I've kind of gotten used to it and been able to look at the benefit, benefit side versus the negative aspect. Something to do, there has to be something different. And I mean, a couple of friends in, um, and I are thinking of starting like a drive-in theater, like the way they used to have them in like the 1960s. I don't know, I just thought it would be a cool idea. And like, it's corona friendly, obviously. Like, we'd have cars parked six feet apart. And I don't know, I think it could work and it would be fun. So that's something that we're thinking of starting. I feel like this is going to impact us for at least a couple years, especially if they don't come up with the vaccine anytime soon. Go into auction shares, stocks and shares on the um on the market and i've also got into property a bit my future will be bright because i have goals in life that i want to achieve i have aspirations and uh, accolades that i want to obtain and um i'm willing to work hard for it and just, I'm, I'm not really sure where life will take me but i know my future is bright well college life is a life that i'm really looking forward to but it's going to be very different especially if i'm living in new york since we're in a time of change I think I know for sure now how how I will get to where I want to be and like what I want to be, if that makes more sense. I don't think I take life for granted as much as I did before, so I definitely will be taking advantage of what life has for me. As a teenager, I was sometimes a rebel with a cause and there were times when I was a rebel without a cause. Sometimes being a teenager for me was tough because I used to feel like I'm misunderstood and I used to feel like I can't conform and then at that time, if we had quarantine and I was stuck at home, I don't know what I would have done. Teens were so full of energy and they were so full of, I don't know, my spirit, my soul. I, I, really, I really came into myself and I really evolved as a teen. And I understand these years are so important and so impactful, you know, like, Whatever happens in your life at this time really impacts you. I know it impacted me when I was a teen and I can only speak for myself. I can only tell you that as a teen, my teen mattered the most to me. And uh, I felt everything at a hundred percent. I never felt anything at a 50% or a 40% or a 60%. Everything had to be felt at a hundred percent. And you know the funny thing is, 
I think I still feel a lot of things still at 100%. I don't know how many of you out there feel like you still have the teenage years left in you. I feel my teenage years are still left in me. Yeah. These teens are really, really important. They shape who we are. They make who we are. You actually, you know, you define your personality during your teens. So, you know, for me, my teens were very important. I'm raising a teenager and I've seen how he has evolved as a teen from 13 to 15 to 17. And uh, it's been wonderful see seeing that grow. I, I really enjoyed speaking to these teens and I actually really enjoyed getting feedback from them. It was a learning curve for me um, to interview people from, from various backgrounds, uh, from various ethnicities and from different countries. And um, like I said, it's really, it's really good to tap into their energy and find out where their mind is at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you next week with a new vlog. And uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. And um, press the subscribe button. And uh, share it with your friends. And I'll see you soon.